Wait, back to the video. Yes, this is Dojo. Yes, I did shit on Dojo and I have been in doing the video about Dojo for such a long time. Recap on the whole payment sense situation. They did actually uh, reimburse me the cost of the tunnel replacement. Yeah, they never helped me out the charge right situation, understandable, you know. They ain't gonna reimburse me fucking like thousands of pounds, but they did actually reach out and did want to fix the situation um, after I made that video. Uh, but yeah, they had, didn't re reimburse me for the uh, refurbishing costs as well. Um, and that, that has kind of been helpful. They did actually say, go with Dojo. You know, we've got a new company. We'll offer you a free trial. So this is my video about Dojo. So I have indeed signed up, uh, got myself three more months. It's free three months. After that, they're going to charge you at 20 pound plus tax. That's about a month, 24 pound a month. The fees are pretty straightforward. 1.3% uh, on transactions and commercials, 1.8%. You know, the a refund fee, there's no authorization fee, but it's calculated as the 1.3% that they charge and 1.8% they charge on commercial cards. Let's just have a look at this machine and see exactly what we're getting. Um, so as a compromise, they've offered me three months uh, as a free trial and they're also gonna chuck in a 50 pound gift card. So I said, you know what, yeah. And the, the guy, the agent that was here, very persistent, you know, I tossed a coin and it landed on his favor. And I said, you know what, I'll try out a dojo, even though I'm sort of scared, but these guys fucking me over. But it's like, you know, why not, why not? Anyway, okay, let's go ahead and open this thing up. This is the box. Uh, comes with some leaflets here, some pamphlets about the system. Um, in fact, I should have got this machine about two days earlier. Um, some stickers here, but something happened with DPD, they end up going into the wrong place, but there's something out of replacement terminal. This is the replacement terminal. So right here, peel back the sticker before you begin. Uh, press the on button in the back. Uh, okay, let's take out the machine here. Let's see exactly what's in. So this is a A920 model. I'm not sure who makes this particular model, but search it up. It'll probably just be rebinded with Dojo there. It might be Ingenico or some sort of other company. Yeah, it's from a company called Pax who makes this one here. Um, let's have a look at the uh, the tool roll that's inside here. So this thing pop, should pop off like so. Yeah, it does. And uh, we've got ourselves a little tool roll here. Brand new with Dojo as well. Dojo.tech. Ah, full tab. Okay, so inside here we've got ourselves a battery. Battery is covered by a little sticky label here. So I can remove that. Uh, there is a SIM card here, uh, and there's just take another SIM card. So it's a micro SD card, another SIM card, and then there's another SIM card that can go inside as well. Let's put it back in here, stick this back in like so, and then that will lock into place. And now, moment of truth, there you go, it's on. So I'm gonna wait until that turns on, uh, and then it's over here. I'm assuming this is a charger, or is it the yeah, charging base? In here. The charging base. Uh, charging base on the back, you've got a Ethernet port there, LAN port. You've also got an RS2, uh, RS232 port there, uh, so you can hook this up to uh, a like a cash register and stuff, etc. Power input is a micro USB. I would have preferred using a Type C port, but a yeah, micro USB is fine as well. Two more USB, so you've got a USB host A and USB host B. So that's that, and that put that to one side. That's still powering up. And so it's based on Android, as you can see there. Okay, let's have a look at this thing here. And this is the power cable that's inside here. Let's this stuff out. And we've got ourselves a LAN cable. So I'm assuming this is 1.8 meters. I'm not sure what the length is, but it's a Cat5 E cable. So yeah, nothing to uh, try home about. Uh, and then we've got ourselves a micro USB port. White micro USB port, I'm assuming this is going to be at 2 meters or so, 2 maybe 3 meters. And we've got a adapter, 5 volt 1 amp, uh, 5 volt 2 amp, okay, 5 volt 2 amp. Um, and then, uh, yeah, clips in like so. Um, and that's basically it. And that's it. But anyway, getting to it, this is 1.3% with a commercial. They don't take Amex at all. Actually, they do take Amex, but if you pick Amex, it's a lot more. So I decided I would not take Amex. But if you go with like Square, uh, or he go with um, uh, who else is there? Sum up and my post. My post have commercial rates typically around sort of one percent, one point two five percent. Sometimes depends when you jump in with them. 
or you can go with like Square. It's one point. If you have a Cash Plus account and you join Square, there will be two thousand pounds of free transactions for the for like two thousand. So you do that like two grand worth of transactions. There's no transaction fees whatsoever, which is a cool little thing to do. Uh, or you can go and then after that is 1.75% and if you go with um, sum up you're paying a fixed rate typically around so I think it's at like 1.7 so I've been using the terminal for about a week now couple of issues with it it doesn't support partial refunds so I had an instance where a customer wanted to refund part of an item and then and I told them that's fine I can go ahead and get that sorted for you then I realized you can't do a partial refund the agent said phone customer services and they can probably help you out with that which is a very inconvenient thing as well because the customers now are gone and then expecting a partial we could back into account i said give her a couple of days and you should get the money but then it's inconvenient for both of us the customer and myself as well the other issue i've got as well the terminal was left on and in the docking station i came back after the weekend and it was completely dead in fact it doesn't go into a sleep mode that means if you leave the terminal on and you don't turn it off that means the terminal will be dead and you have to wait until it's sufficiently charged for it to turn back on again again an inconvenient but again, my little things, they can probably sort that out with soft, software updates. But apart from that, so far so good. The funds are coming into the account, uh, into the nominated account, which I've provided them. Cross my fingers, everything goes okay. And uh, we'll see how the, the next few months last. And this is my first impression and then a little recap of what's going on with the whole sort of payments and situation. This has been Ace. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Ace out.